Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you here today with Michael Miller from the California Association of Wine Grape Growers. Uh, Michael, you've been you've been real busy as a director of government affairs, right? Yep. Uh, there's there's never a shortage of issues to deal with, and uh, one of the issues I wanted to talk about today was, you know, autonomous or uh, manless self-driving tractors has been uh, something that the industry is investing in. Yeah. You know, uh, labor is is really difficult. Uh, to come by and so we're we're innovating for the future uh, but the the problem is that there's regulations prohibiting the full use of that equipment being able to step away from the farm and just watch it go or remote control however however they're doing it can you tell us about it yeah sure so so basically the issue is that if the vineyard is a workplace where people are working and you have a self-driven autonomous tractor under the California Cal OSHA regulations, you have to have a person physically located on the tractor. That means that you can't have somebody um, that is operating remotely, they have to be physically on the tractor. Technology is very advanced now. These are safe tractors. They they actually uh, 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 reduce the, the demand for labor where we already have a huge labor crunch situation, but also it moves some of the workforce from you know work in the vineyard uh, specific, you know, uh, manual labor to working in, in technology and working on the equipment through, op- through remote operations, um, and they're 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 available. They're built right here in California in many cases, and this regulation needs to be fixed. So there's currently a petition uh, before the uh, Occupational Safety and Health Standards Board to fix that regulation. COG is working with the industry, uh, um, ag industry, our ag coalition partners, and trying to get some support for it and see if we can get that through to get that fixed because that's the future. We need to invest in the future. We can't get stuck in an antiquated regulation that doesn't recognize technology uh, that exists today. Yeah, I mean, we understand the concerns, and I think they, they just don't want um, like people to get run over. Uh, by these vehicles that, you know, where nobody's uh, managing them on site. But, you know, this is this is technology that we can we can manage remotely, and it's not like they're just taking off right after, like, all right, we got it set. Well, I'm going to go get a drink now, you know. Well, the, the, the technology is actually, uh, it can sense if someone's near the tractor, it'll automatically shut off. It's got automatic stop switches front and back of the tractor. It's very safe. And there's minimal evidence, if any, that these are not safe. And they're, they're safer than traditional ag equipment. So for, for growers that are, you know, uh, it, thinking about investing in this new technology that is becoming commercially available, um, that there's some legitimate concern here, you would say? or, or oh, what, Absolutely. And how are we, you know, can, can we get this resolved, do you think, this year? That's our goal. So the, the, uh, the board has to take up the petition within six months. And if they take up the petition, uh, they can approve it, they can deny it, or they can uh, somehow modify it and amend the regulation to allow it. And that's our, our hope. We want to work with uh, all of our partners and come together on a regulatory, cha- uh, a regulatory solution through amending the existing law to, to resolve the problem. And we, and we think we've got a, a decent chance of being successful because this is California. We're agriculture. We're also technology. This should, this should all come together this year. This is part of sustainability, so it should, we're, we're, we're speaking their language. They should, they should work with us on this. So thank you for taking the time. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.